Hi, today we'll talk about another binary search problem, search insert position. Let's say what this question is all about. All right, so they will provide us a sorted distinct integer array and a target value. And they're asking, we have to find this, this target in the particular array. If it is found, then we have to return the index. If it is not found, we have to look not found. So we have to see that if that target was available in this integer array, what should be its index? Let's understand with an example. If we have an array of say one, three, five, six, they give us a target five. So we will find it here and then we will return the index to as an answer. The other examples, suppose we have an array. Now they ask for four. When we try to find this four in this array, we never found it. But if that four will be the part of this array in sorted order, what will be its index? So that will be here. So we will say if it will be the part of the same array, it will be one, three, four, five, and six. So that will be its index. And we will, we have to return two here. And that again falls to the binary search because we can look few things. The first, it's a sorted integer array and we have to find something. And we can better find using binary search and we can we can find the element using log of log of n complexity so take an example we will always try to take a simple example like one three five seven suppose that and the target value is four and if we look at so this target value should fall here at that point so with the index 2 so how we will do that binary search we'll take simple left index we will take a right index we will find the mid that mid will fall here in that case we will look at oh 3 is less than 4 our target value so we must found it here on that side of the array so we will move our left index to next to the mid at this point and we'll try to find it so after keep on binding search multiple iteration we will come at some point where left will be so one three five seven and at some level when we never found it right will be pointing here and left will be pointing here so left will be greater than left index will be greater than our right index. But you can see that left will be pointing the index where our target value should be, which will be two. So that will be the answer. So if we will never found, we will just return the index value of left pointer index. Let's see how we can solve using the code and functional programming. Welcome back. Now let's see how we can solve this question using binary search. We will make a function binary search. We will see its left index is zero and its right index will be our end array. And we define binary search function. We will say this is left, that will be right. And we were going to return the answer, the index. Now that function, what we think at the first step, we, we can think that, yeah, if left will cross our right, that left will be the answer. It is our base condition. And the else part, we can, we can use the binary search here. We will say wall mid is left plus right minus left. One by two, we find the mid and then we will say if we found nums.mid is equal to our target, 
If we found that, we will say mid is our answer. If we never found it, and we see that nums at mid is less than the target, so it means we have to find our answer on the right side of the array. So we will bind search again and we will say find left index will be mid plus one and in the right. In the else part, else part means that when nums mid is greater than our target. In that case, we will use a binary search from mid, from left to mid minus one. And that's it. Now let's run the code. So it works. Thanks.